Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Have you ever wondered why Lightroom doesn't have a mid-tone slider? To adjust the tone in Lightroom, you have six different sliders, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. And with those six sliders, you usually could get a pretty good edit. For this image, I really only adjusted four of those sliders, and it looks okay, but this image does have a lot of mid-tone in it, and I'm thinking if I could adjust the mid-tones exclusive of the highlights and shadows, that I could probably make this image pop a little bit more. Now, I, of course, could go down to the tone curve and adjust mid-tones here, but with the tone curve, it's a little more difficult to use, and you may not get as precise an adjustment as you'd like with the tone curve. Well, there actually is a mid-tone slider kind of buried away in Lightroom. It's in the color grading panel. Now, when we use color grading panel, we're thinking color. We're going to add color to the mid-tones, shadows, and or highlights. Well, you can just adjust the tone without adding any color. I'm going to go to the actual mid-tones color grading circle. I'm not even going to touch it. I'm not going to add any color to the midtones. I'm just going to jump right down here to the luminance slider. Watch, move this to the right. And look at how much it makes the image pop. There's before and there's after. It really is a tool that will help you on some of your images. Now, not only do we have this luminance slider, uh, if we did want to add color, we have the hue and saturation sliders as well, but I don't want to add any color to the midtones. I just want to affect the tone of the midtones. Down here with this balance slider, I could move this as well. If I move it to the right, it will put this luminance adjustment more towards the shadows. If I move it to left, it will put it more towards the highlights. In this case, I think I liked it right in the middle. That looked great right there. So midtones, there is this slider. It's called luminance and it's in the color grading panel. Let's do another one. I have this black and white image. Now there's no color here at all. So this is just tone. Go to that luminance slider. I'll move it to the right. I want to make that the lake a little brighter. And look, it worked perfectly and it didn't really affect the shadows at all or anything like that. Finally, let's do one more. I have this image here. And it's an okay kind of spooky image. And I adjusted the highlight shadows, whites and blacks as good as possible, but it's still missing something. It's missing that little extra pop. I'll go to color grading. I'll get, again, go to the mid-tones and I'll go to this luminance slider, move it to the right in this case. And it looks a lot better in my opinion. Gives it that little extra pop. Now, I just want to mention that I didn't stumble upon this all by myself. I actually had someone email me and they told me that they often adjust the tone of their images with color grading. They don't add any color at all, no hue, no saturation, and they go to all three uh, shadows, midtones, and highlights, and they move the luminance slider to affect the tone on their images. They think they get a more precise adjustment doing it that way. Um, and along with maybe doing the highlight shadows, whites and blacks up here in the basic panel. So he emailed me and told me about this and I thought that was pretty interesting. And I'd experiment with it and I find he emailed me months ago and I finally had time to mess with it. And at least for me, I found adjusting midtones, um, the luminance slider in midtones works best for my images, but I encourage you, oops, I encourage you to, um, Try it out for yourself. Try the shadows, midtones, highlights. Move that luminance slider. Also move that balance slider. You can also move blending around too and see if that affects your image. And see if this uh, maybe takes your uh, post-production in a different direction and helps you add a little bit of extra pop to your images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.